Recording has started. So we left off last week. We had been talking about variables and uses for variables. <clears throat> so today I want to just go back and review and make sure that we understand all those operations with those variables. So in your notes, I'm going to have you do this one. So I'll give you a minute to write that out and work through it, and then we'll go over it. So we would rewrite this one, write out our first number, the 4x squared plus 7x minus 11. Then the 3x squared goes under the 4x squared. The negative 9x goes under the positive 7x. And the positive 2 ones goes under the negative 11 ones. And we are adding here. So a negative 11 plus 2, well it's negative 11 plus 2 is going to be a negative 9. 7x plus negative 9x, well, positive 7 plus a negative 9 is actually a negative 2, and we keep the name of x. 4x squared plus 3x squared is just a 7x squared. So we get 7x squared minus 2x minus 9. Let's take a look at this one. 2x squared minus 11x plus 3 minus... 6x squared plus 9x minus 8. I'll give you a minute, then we'll go over that one. <clears throat> So, we rewrite this again, 2x squared minus 11x plus 3. We put the 6x squared under the 2x, the positive 9x under the negative 11x, and the negative 8 ones under the positive 3 ones. <clears throat> and here we are subtracting. So, 3 minus the negative 8 is 3 plus 8, so that's just a positive 11. Negative 11x minus 9x. Well, negative 11 minus 9 is negative 11 plus a negative 9, or a negative 20x. And 2x squared minus 6x squared 
is negative 4x squared. Negative 4x squared minus 20x plus 11. <coughs> Let's do this one. 2x squared plus 7x minus 3 minus 5x to the third. Yes, that is correct. 5x to the third minus 6 plus 11. <clears throat> so we write the first one again two x squared plus seven x minus three. We're going to write the second one, realize that's a 5x to the third, so we got to put it off to the side over here. There is no x squared, so we put in a 0x squared. The negative 6x goes under the positive 7x. And the positive 11 ones goes under the negative 3 ones. And we are again subtracting here. Negative 3 minus 11 is a negative 14. 7x minus a negative 6x is a positive 13x. 2x squared minus 0x squared is still just 2x squared. And now there is no x to the third here, so I do have to fill in a, a 0x to the third up there. 0x to the third minus 5x to the third is a negative 5x to the third. <coughs> Excuse me. We have 7x to the third y squared times... 5x squared y to the fifth. Multiply those two together for me quickly. We'll go over those in just a half a minute. Okay, so we're going to multiply here. We multiply the combine the counts. 7 times 5 is 35. Then we combine each name separately. x to the third times x squared. When we multiply exponents with the same base, those both have a base of x, we're adding powers. So x to the third times x squared is x to the fifth. 3 plus 2 is 5. y squared times y to the fifth is y to the seventh. 35x to the 5th, y to the 7th. We might have something like this. 4x squared, y to the 3rd, times 7x to the 4th, y, minus 4x squared, y to the 3rd, 
plus 5xy to the fifth. I'll give you a minute, then we'll go over that one. So, we multiply here. We're going to distribute 5x squared y to the third times 7x to the fourth y. 5 times 7 is 35. x squared times x to the fourth is x to the sixth. y to the third times y. Well, remember, we think of that as y to the 1. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. That's y to the fourth. Take the 5x squared y to the third times a negative 4x squared y to the third. 5 times negative 4 is a negative 20. x squared times x squared is x to the 4th. And y to the 3rd times y to the 3rd is y to the 6th. Then we take the 5x squared y to the 3rd times 5xy to the 5th. 5 times 5 is 25. It's positive, so we're going to put a plus in front of it. Positive 25. x squared times x. Again, think of that as x to the 1. So that's x to the 3rd. And y to the third times y to the fifth is y to the eighth. <clears throat> we might have something like this. 2x minus 7 times the x plus 5. Give that one a shot quick, and then we'll go over it in a minute. So we start out here, we do the, you know, the FOIL is the acronym you could use if you wanted to, but it's just 2x times 3x is 6x squared, 2x times 5 is a positive 10x, move over to the next digit, negative 7 times 3x is a negative 21x, and a negative 7 times 5 is a negative 35. Now, normally I would have shifted the negative 21x under the 10x. So that we remember to combine those. We do have to combine those. There's nothing to combine with the 6x squared. We have 10x and a negative 21x is a negative 11x. Now we have the negative 35. Then we also can run into things like this. Twenty-eight x to the seventh y to the fourth divided by seven x squared y to the third divide that out. We'll go over it in about half a minute. <clears throat>
<clears throat> so we divide the counts. 28 divided by 7 is 4. Then we do each name. X to the 7th divided by X squared. 7 minus 2 is 5. That's X to the 5th. Y to the 4th divided by Y to the 3rd. 4 minus 3 is 1, so that's Y to the 1, or just Y. So 4X to the 5th, Y. And then we might have something like this. 32X to the 6th, Y squared, minus 48X to the 4th, Y to the 5th, plus 16 x squared y to the eighth divided by 16 x squared y squared give that one a shot we'll go over that in about a minute So we divide each digit here. 32x to the 6th y squared divided by 16x squared y squared. 32 divided by 16 is 2. x to the 6th divided by x squared is x to the 4th. y squared divided by y squared. y squared divided by y squared cancels out. We move to the next digit. Negative 48x to the 4th y to the 5th divided by 16x squared y squared. Negative 48 divided by 16 is a negative 3. X to the 4th divided by X squared. Well, 4 minus 2 is just 2, so that's X squared. Y to the 5th divided by Y squared. 5 minus 2 is 3, so that's Y to the 3rd. Then we move to the 16X squared Y to the 8th divided by 16X squared Y squared. 16 divided by 16 is 1. It's positive, so I'm going to put a plus in front of it. Now, we might not need that one there, but I'm putting it in for now, just, just in case. X squared divided by X squared cancels out. Y to the 8th divided by Y squared. 8 minus 2 is 6. That's Y to the 6th. So we don't need that one there. 1 Y to the 6th is the same as just Y to the 6th. If you had the one there, it would not be wrong. It's just extra information. So now our next step today is to look at adding powers to this. We did see last week that if we have something like x to the fourth to the power of eight, that to combine those powers, we're actually multiplying those powers. This is x to the power of four times eight is 32. We did not last week, however, add a number, a coefficient in front of that variable. So we might have 5x to the 7th, the power of 4. But we still do 5 to the power of 4. 5 to the power of 4 is still 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, which is 625. And then we do the names. x to the 7th to the power of 4. 7 times 4 is 28, so that is x to the power of 28.
we might have 4x to the third to the power of 5. Again, we do the 4 to the power of 5, which is just 5 4s multiplied together. Or you can do it on your calculator. Four to the power of five is going to be a thousand and twenty-four. The x to the third to the power of five. Well, three times five is fifteen. That's x to the fifteenth. In your notes, I'm going to have you try one. Three x to the eighth to the power of. Now let's just go to four again. We'll make it easy on you. I'll give you half a minute, then we'll go over that one. So, 3 to the power of 4 is 81. x to the 8th to the power of 4 is x to the power of 32. Well, what if we have more than a single digit? I mean, this is just one digit, one count and its names. What if we have more than a single digit? Something like 5x minus 3 squared. Well, that is simply 5x minus 3 times 5x minus 3. And then we multiply it out. We do the 5x times 5x is 25x squared. 5x times negative 3 is a negative 15x. <coughs> Move over to the next digit of the first number. Negative 3 times 5x is a negative 15x again. Negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. We combine those. We have 25x squared. Negative 15 and negative 15x make negative 30x plus 9. <clears throat> so try this one in your notes. 2x plus 7 squared. <clears throat> <coughs> So this becomes 2x plus 7 times 2x plus 7. And we do 2x times 2x. It's 4x squared. 2x times 7 is a positive 14x. Moving over to the next digit, 7 times 2x is another positive 14x. And 7 times 7 is a positive 49. Adding that up, we have 4x squared plus 14x and 14x is 28x. 
plus 49. We might have something like this. 3x minus 5 to the power of 3. So this will be 3x minus 5 times 3x minus 5 times 3x minus 5. <clears throat> now there is no short way to do this. We have to multiply the first two first. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times negative 5 is a negative 15x. Negative 5 times 3x is another negative 15x. Negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25. So we add those up, we have 9x squared minus 30x plus 25. Then that's going to get multiplied by the 3x minus 5. So now I have the 9x squared times the 3x, which is 27. x to the third. 9x squared times the negative 5, which is negative 45x squared. Negative 30x times 3x, which is a negative 90x squared. Negative 30x times negative 5 is a positive 150x. 25 times 3x is a positive 75x. 25 times negative 5 is a negative 125. We have the 27x to the third. Negative 45 and negative 90 makes us negative 135x squared. Positive 150 and positive 75 is a positive 225x. And we have the negative 125. <clears throat> Luckily, it doesn't get too much worse than that. So we had something like 5x to the 5th, y to the 3rd, to the 4th power. We did the 5 to the 4th power, which is 625. For the exponents, it was the power of a power. We multiplied the powers. So x to the fifth to the fourth power, 5 times 4 was 20. That's x to the 20th. y to the third to the fourth power, well, 3 times 4 is 12. So that's y to the 12th. The next step is to look at reversing that process. That looks like the square root symbol, but it's got that little 4 up there for index. That means it's a fourth root, which means it's reversing a fourth power. A fourth root, depending on your calculator, um, it's on a, it uses the n root or the x root key. Just like we did the power piece by piece, we do the root piece by piece. The fourth root of 625 is 5. We saw that up here. 5 to the power of 4 is 625. So the fourth root of 625 is just 5. Could also be negative 5, but we're only worried about the positive value here. The fourth root of x to the 20, well, when we did a power, we multiplied the roots. 5 times 4 made 20. When we do a root, we divide the roots. 20 divided by 4 would be 5. That's going to be x to the fifth. y to the 12th, the 4th root of y to the 12th, again, we divide the roots. 12 divided by 4 is 3, that's y to the 3rd. Notice that exactly reversed the operation we did up above. So if we have a square root of 49, x to the 8th, y to the 12th, and z to the 6th. What's the square root of 49? 7, good. Now, square root, it's not written in there, but this little index here is a 2. So what do we do to the power of x? x to the 8th becomes what? Fourth. x to the 4th, very good. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 
y to the 12th, the square root of y to the 12th becomes Six. Y to the six. Z to the six. The square root of z to the six becomes three. Z to the third. Very good. So we just divided each of the powers by two because it was a square root. Twenty seven x to the twelfth, y to the ninth. What is the third root of twenty seven? Three, very good. Three to the third power is 27. Third root of x to the 12th is x to the fourth. Fourth, good. And the third root of y to the ninth is y to the three. Three, good, perfect. We have some homework here. In the big book. We have page 396. Exercise 13-4. Page 399 through 401. Exercise 13-5. Page 403, exercise 13-6. And finally, page 407, 408. Exercise 13-7. Of course, in those, you're doing the odds. <clears throat> Also, if you have not completed it yet, there's quiz 11-12 sitting there in Blackboard for you to complete. We could have that done by noon tomorrow. Any questions? Okay, I feel like I gave you a lot to work on here, so I'm going to shut off the recording there.